Now the World Cup is on right now. Nobody cares about soccer. It is such a boring sport. Anyways, the only good thing to come out of the World Cup so far is the Iranian team captain is speaking out against his own regime in the World Cup. Now, this is a very dangerous thing to do. Uh, if you don't know anything about Iran right now, the women don't want to wear their hijabs anymore. They don't want to live under the rule of radical Islam. Well, radical Islam doesn't want to just give away their crown jewel country, Iran. Lots of money, lots of resources, lots of funds coming and going. They're the number one state sponsor of terrorism by proxy. They never get caught doing anything, but they also terrorize the women. Now, I'm one of the only comics that has been anti-Iranian regime for the last 20 years, not just because it's a cool hashtag now. Go back to my videos and Iranians turned on me. They're like, how dare you speak out against my country? But now they're going, speak for me, please speak for our country. Why, why you are not speaking every day about this? Well, I'm not from Iran. My dad was born there, but he hasn't been back for 45 years. The point is, I talk about jokes on my channel. We, we share some of the updates, but uh, I talk about Persian food and my dad saying, thanks God you are here. Thanks God I love you. But I've already done far more than Joe Biden has done and Kamala Harris. And that's who a lot of you Iranians accidentally voted for. You all pushed for him to win. You all wanted Democrats to win. Now you need to put your political sway behind these Democrats and beg them to help, not a comedian. Don't ask a comedian to send words and tanks and bombs, nothing. Ask Joe Biden, who is doing nothing as he controls the biggest military and all the sanctions. All right, so let's look at this guy. Breaking news, Iran football team captain defies the regime and backs the protests. We have to accept that conditions in our country are not right and our people, they are not happy. They should know that we are with them and we support them and we sympathize with them regarding the conditions. No doubt he now can no longer go back to Iran just for that tweet. Do you understand? how much freedom we have in America while a lot of you radical leftists cry and pout and whine about your student loans that you took out voluntarily. Other countries are fighting for basic freedoms like to talk and to wear their hijab at the correct angle that they want instead of like down to their eyebrow, they want to go to the head or the mid head. Oh, that's where their arguments are at. So you privileged idiots are very spoiled and selfish, but luckily a half Persian comedian who's never even been there is doing more than Joe Biden to speak out. Hashtag Masa Amini, let's go freedom for the people of Iran who deserve it. And you know, Donald Trump would have done a lot more, okay? You keep calling him stupid and racist and dumb, but he did more for more people around the world than Joe Biden has ever done. Believe me, we'll be right back with a whole lot more.